So um, what we're going to be doing now is actually building this functionality to email all of the users uh, where they have their setting uh, obviously as one. So the first thing to do is go ahead build up this page only allow admin access uh, at the moment I believe that let's just have a look um, we have Alex as an admin so type one we looked at this in the um, user types part of the video if you haven't watched that yet or if you want to refer back to it as a reminder uh, but we're going to be using the protect page and the admin protect functions uh, in conjunction to protect this page against uh, normal users or anyone that isn't logged in accessing it because obviously we don't want to give that um, you know that that uh, ability to anyone so let's go ahead and start to build up the page. Uh, we'll build up the form, we'll validate the form. Very, very simple this time. Um, we haven't got a lot to validate because we've just got a subject and body. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and call this function to email all users and then go ahead and build that function. So not really a lot to do uh, considering you know, you're emailing all of your users because we've already built most of the, uh, the functionality. So let's go ahead and create a new page. I'm gonna take um, some I'm going to take a template here from admin, which is a page that we created that only admins are allowed to access. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this and paste it into here just to be lazy. And I'm going to save this as mail.php. Okay, so let's go ahead and close admin. Uh, you'll see that I've got general.php and users.php open. Uh, these are two of our function files that we're going to need to add to and, and all of that stuff. So um, let's go ahead and just change this to mail and or we'll, we'll, we'll say email all users and uh, we'll add our form down here in a moment so let's go ahead and ch uh, check this page out first of all we'll log out and we'll try and access it brilliant uh, let's try and log in as Billy and just try and access that okay it's redirected us to the home page well the index page which is good we don't want to allow access uh, and now let's finally log in as uh, my account, which is a, uh, an administrator account, and we have this email or users page. So now that we have got the page, let's start to build the form up. Uh, so it's nothing really that you haven't seen before. Uh, we're going to submit and validate this in exactly the same way uh, as we've already be, already been doing. So we need an unordered list in here and some list items. Uh, the first list item is going to be the uh, email subject which is going to be required and uh, this is just going to be an input field with the type text we're going to give this a name of subject makes sense and let's proceed to the text area so this is going to be the body of the email again this is going to be required uh, and this is going to be a text area this time so uh, slightly different because we want a larger area. Uh, we're also going to go ahead and give this a name as well and we'll just call this body. Uh, and lastly we want to go ahead and obviously include our submit button. So input and the type here is submit and the value here is just going to be send. So let's go ahead and refresh here. Uh, you see we've got our form. This is slightly small uh, so let's go ahead and open up our CSS file and just under here I'm going to go ahead and add a, a new selector for all text areas and I'm going to give all text areas a width of 400 and let's say a height of say 150 perfect that's uh, that's a big enough space so we can go ahead and close that now okay so when we send this we need to start validating so both are required um, we're not going to bother creating an, a required array because we're really not going to need much more data here you can go ahead and, and make it you know a lot better if you want uh, but let's go ahead and just open up some PHP tags under the header here uh, and let's go ahead and start to validate this so what we want to do is we want to say if empty dollar underscore post is equal to uh, false this is going to mean that the form has been submitted and we've got some data in our post array so let's just go ahead and echo a or something and click send a perfect so we obviously don't want to echo a we want to go ahead and start checking if things are, are required uh, are 
uh, empty or not. So we need an if, and we need to say if empty dollar underscore post subject. Now, if this is equal to true, we want to append to our errors array, and we'll just say subject is required. Uh, we want to do exactly the same thing here, so a bit of repetition, but it uh, just means we don't have to use that for each loop that we've used in previous parts. Uh, so for example, in settings, uh, we use this for each loop, uh, really because we have more uh, potential for more fields here. So here we're just doing two if statements. Um, so we need to check the body, and if if uh, result of empty on body is true, we want to say body is required. Okay, so now what we want to do is check. That's that. They're all the checks that we're going to do. Um, we're not going to check for minimum length or anything like that. Now we want to check if the uh, overall errors array is empty. So if empty errors is equal to false, that means we do have errors. So we're going to use our output errors function and pass in this errors array. Errors array. Otherwise, we want to send email. And we'll just go ahead and echo send, just so we know that we've hit that point. OK, so I'm going to click send. Uh, subject is required, body is required. Uh, I'll just type in uh, anything here. So want to wear PHP Academy. And I'll just say hello there, just for now. So I'm going to go ahead and click send. Send. So if we were to just say this and no body, body is required. Okay, um, and obviously this has removed the subject, uh, so it might be worth um, adding a little if statement in here uh, to an, and an if statement in here as well to check if that variable set and then if it is echo them the contents out. I'm not going to do that for now because uh, that's just something that you can do in your own time. Okay, so now that we know that we're validating, we need to go ahead and send this email to the user. So what do we do? Well, we need a function that's going to loop through users um, and uh, specify a subject and a body and send out these emails to these users. So I'm going to call this function mail users. Now what, I'm gonna, what am I going to pass through here? Well, I'm going to pass a subject and a body. So dollar underscore post um, subject and dollar underscore post body. Um, and when we've done that, we want to relocate to a success message. We've done this before, uh, mail.php, and then a success um, query at the end there. And then I'm just going to exit. So we can now go ahead and test this with our success uh, variable at the end here. If I go ahead and type in this and hello, and I click send, we get the success at the end here. Now this is going to prompt a confirmation message. So let's go ahead and do this. If something else is going to be all of this form down to here. Now let me just explain this in a moment. I'm just going to go ahead and indent all of this here. Now the reason this is, is we're checking if this success query is, uh, is met or it's there. And if it is, we are going to say, you know, your email has been sent. Otherwise, we're going to show the form and all of this stuff as well. So if is set dollar underscore get success, if that's equal to true. And this variable is empty, which we don't need to check. But again, probably good practice. If empty is equal to true, then I'm going to break out of PHP back in there. And in here, I'm just going to say um, email has been sent. So we're validating, we're giving a confirmation message. The only thing we're not doing at the moment is actually sending the email. And surprisingly, that is the shortest part of it because we already have everything in place to do so. So let's go ahead and type in again uh, something here and hello. Send. Perfect. So we have the visual and the validation and all that stuff. Now we need to go ahead and actually create this mail users function. So in the next part of the tutorial, we are going to be creating this mail users function. As I said, it's going to pass in a subject. It's going to pass in a body. It's going to loop through all of the users that uh, have that uh, little digit. So uh, 
the allow email in our database table set to one. If they do have it set to one, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the mail function that, or email function that we've already created to go ahead and send them an email.